Hi guys, Tiffany here from Tiffany Gordon Cosplay to go over with you how I painted the Sepulchre Axe from Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And this axe was handmade by me out of EVA foam and PVC pipes, as well as it has three heavy coats of Plasti Dip on the entire piece before we started painting. And the base blueprint for this axe in a small and a large scale are available on my website www.tiffanygordoncosplay.com or see the link below. And here's a reference image of my in-game sepulchral axe from Assassin's Creed Valhalla. It is so cool with how it's all gold and it has the detailed painting around the hand grips and it also lights on fire. For painting this axe I used my Iwata airbrush gun as well as Createx Colors sent me their Wicked Colors airbrush line to test out for the first time. So I'm gonna be using it in a few different methods on applying with an airbrush gun as well as by hand, and then using one of their sealers at the end. Testing all of this out for the very first time. So big thank you to them for providing the paint. And for my base coat of airbrush paint, I started off with Cretex Colors Wicked Black, doing a base coat on the entire axe. The next color that I used was Cretex Colors Gold Chrome, and this one is by far my favorite color. I started off by doing a light coat on the entire axe with the gold paint, and then slowly went in on highlights with a more heavier application, and it really just brought the axe to life and made it look like actual gold. And for the detail spots in the axe, I added some of the Wicked Black color to the gold chrome, and then went in airbrush painting in all of the crevices and cracks and then wiped away with a paper towel so that way all of the dark color would sit in the deeper sections and all of the highlights would still show. For the detail sections of the axe, I cut out all of the circle parts using an X-Acto blade from my 2D blueprint and traced the circle sections onto the axe where they were going to go using a sharpie. And for these pieces, I'm going to hand paint them using a paintbrush instead of an airbrush gun. And the color that I want to mix is a light brown. So in order to do this, I had to make brown using Wicked Violet and Wicked Golden Yellow. And then after I had my brown color, I wanted to make it lighter and I added Wicked White. And then proceeded to paint all of the detail sections with this light brown color. The Createx Color Wicked Colors line for painting by hand is really, really nice. It is not too liquidy, so you can apply it onto round surfaces and it won't drip. And if you apply it heavy in places, it'll end up drying flat and you won't have a thicker piece and a thinner piece. The next color that we're gonna hand mix is a really deep red. And I used the Wicked Black color as well as the Wicked Red to make this and then applied it to all of the inner circles as well as around all of our figure eight shapes. And then went over one more time with our light brown color onto all the figure eight pieces just so it would have a nice and crisp clean edges. And the last color that we're gonna mix for painting is a light blue, which we use the Wicked Blue and the Wicked White to make. Adding a small dot in all of our figure eight pieces by hand. The last step is to seal the entire axe. And for this, I would typically use a clear enamel spray paint, but I wanted to test out Createx Colors UVLS Clear Ultimate Color Protection, their satin one. This was a great alternative for me because right now, 
I would normally be painting in my garage, but it's really cold because it's winter time. So I was able to hand paint this inside and it was really, really nice. I applied just one even coat to the entire surface of the axe and this really made a difference. It made all of the gold pop more, it made everything look more even and one consistency throughout the piece. When applying it to the surface, it's going to look a little bit more of a milky white color and you want to make sure that it's pretty consistent and even. You don't want any large buildups for it will dry a little bit white. Um, so you want to make sure it is evenly spread so that way it dries clear. And the good thing about this product also is if you don't want to apply it with a paintbrush, it will go through your Iwata airbrush gun as well, but you will need to thin it out heavily. And after that was done being let out for an hour to dry, it was completely done. For me, this was my first time using Createx Color, their Wicked Colors line for my Iwata airbrush gun, and I really, really liked it. And this will be my new go-to airbrush paint for making all of my props and cosplays, as well as I'm gonna be using their UVLS clear protection a lot more for future costumes. And for this, they come in satin, matte, as well as gloss. So a bunch of different finish options for you. As always, thank you so much for watching this cosplay painting video. I hope you enjoyed it and press the like button and the subscribe button, and I will see you for our next video. Much love, guys. Mwah!